Hello lovelies, it's Sarcasm the Sickness, and welcome back for day 9 of the 31 day challenge. Thank you so much for being here. I seriously appreciate you guys coming back, you know, every day to check out these videos. I really it's really been doing a lot better than I thought it would, and that's just amazing, honestly. Um, and the biggest thing is all this participation. Honestly, there's been pretty much consistently over 20 drawings per day. Day one has like 35, I think. It's insane, honestly. Um, yeah, so I've, it's just been really, really great. It's been really, really great to see everybody in, in the comment section telling me about their favorite Pokemon. I know I didn't get to respond to a lot of the comments yesterday, but I probably will today, I will, or I'll try today to, to respond to everybody. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for just, just everything, just all the support in the series. And, um, oh, and um, let's talk about other people who would like support on their series, because they're also doing the 31 Day Challenge on their YouTube channels. We have Unknown Persona, The Great Bulbasaurus, Kuro Ryushin, Jimph, Apple Pie Queen, Master Lax, Liger Zero, Chespin Jr. 98, Glicks Alt, Dueling Gentleman, and Adora Shinx. So definitely go check them all out. Their links are in the description below. Um, yeah, so definitely go do, go do that because I know they'll appreciate it. I appreciate it. And you'll appreciate yourself for doing it because they have some really kick-ass art. It's really good. It's really cool. Check them out. Um, oh, uh, as a note, if you are... Yeah, if you have no idea what the 31-day challenge is, go... Yeah, you can. You may see yourself to the description of the video where I have linked the introduction video, so you so that'll tell you everything you need to know for the most part. If you have still have questions, you can obviously you know go into the comment section and ask me. Um, yeah, or this is on the playlist, so you should go be able to go back to video number one on the playlist and watch it there. Um, also, if you are participating in the challenge with me, please remember. If you're tweeting them at me, to actually tweet them at me, tweet tweet them at me at sarcasm sickness, um, because I have seen some people, and this is to no one in particular, but I have seen some people retweet um, other people's drawings that are that are like, that are labeled hashtag 31 day challenge but aren't tweeted at me. The problem is the hashtag 31 day challenge is currently being used for some kind of beauty challenge or something for Mar for for May. Sorry, I almost said March. So I don't have the the, like, the hashtag followed because I would get a whole bunch of crap every day about like like middle aged women, you know, like trying to feel better about themselves when honestly there's nothing wrong with them to begin with. So um, yeah, so definitely make sure to tweet them at me. I am not following the hashtag because I didn't even, it was one of those things like I couldn't think of a good hashtag to use so I didn't ever say it in video. So you don't have to use the hashtag because it's not really, it doesn't really do anything. Um, I mean, you can still use it if you want to, it just doesn't do anything, I guess. Um, anyway, yeah, I already said everybody's been participating. Oh, um, if you are participating in the challenge via YouTube videos, please make sure you are still tweeting your drawings at me because I don't have the time to go to, what, like, like eight or nine different people's videos and, um, and, you know, and screen cap their end results the whole time. Um, because I, I still need the video, or like, I still need the, the image files, um, but I personally, as one person, do not have the time to go and scavenge over everybody's videos and make sure that I have all of them. Um, I feel like I'm missing some. I feel like there's people who are participating in the challenge who I have not gotten all of their drawings from. And I don't know, I just don't- I don't want to miss you if I- especially if I know you're participating. But the thing is, I don't want to go and do it myself because I am deathly afraid that I'm gonna miss a few. And I guess I just don't want that stress. I don't want that pressure. I don't want that like, well, why didn't you put this one in? Say, like, well, because you didn't tweet it at me and I forgot it. I'm sorry, I tried. So please just make sure you are tweeting them at me. Um, you can retweet them at me if you already have and you're worried that I maybe didn't get it. If you didn't see me retweet it, essentially, please make sure that you are adding me. Please make sure that you either, like, you know, go into, like, you know, mention me again and be like, hey, did you, did you see this one? And make it, make sure it's a reply to that tweet. Whatever. Stuff like that. Um, or just put it, put a link in the description. Or not the description, the comment section. Whatever, I'm all over the place today. Anyway, today is, um, favorite ghost type. So, my favorite ghost type, which we're just about to dive into, is this little baby! Look at- look at him, he's so cute! I love Phantom- I mean, wow, yeah, Phantom, yeah, wow, I almost said it wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna dive right in here, and I'm gonna hit this, the, the timer button right now. Three, 
two, one, bop. Okay, Phantom. It is, oh my gosh, It's. it was really hard, honestly, to pick for this category in particular because there are a lot of really, really cool ghost types. Um, that is one thing that Nintendo and Game Freak have done really well is their ghost types. They, they have so many really just... I don't know, there's just so many really cool ones. You know, like even since the beginning, even since the beginning, um, there was nothing wrong with Gengar and Haunter and Ghastly, you know? Like they're they're just fine. They're they're wonderful. Like I know Ghastly's just a ball, but like it's still like it still makes sense because there are like ghostly um or like it you know, there's like ghost ghost movies or whatever have like this just this hovering this hovering like ectoplasmic whatever orb thing. So, um, so yeah, it's still, like, consistent, I guess, with, like, ghosts in general. Um, so yeah, they've always done just really just excellent with their ghost types, honestly. Um, and, like, there's, there's a lot that I really like. Like, I really like, um, I really like Bennett. Bennett is really cool. I really like, I really like, um, Pumpkaboo, to be honest. I really like Pumpkaboo and Gorgeist. They're really cool. I really like, um... Hmm. I like Golet and Golurk. I like... I like a lot of them. Honestly, there's just so many cool ones. Litwick and and Lampin and Chandelure are really awesome, too. Um, I know a lot of people put those two guys down as their favorites for the day. Um, oh, Sableye. Sableye is really cool, too. There's so many good ones. Honestly, it was so hard to pick. Um... And I, I know I, I know other people had a hard time picking too because I have gotten drawings of people or from people who um, who just picked multiple. They're just like I couldn't decide, so here's here's these two. So Nintendo and Game Freak have pretty much always done really well with their ghost types. I really can't even think of like a single ghost type that I actually don't like. I'm not a fan of Shuppet, maybe. I just I don't know, it's alright, but it makes sense still. Like I understand what the like what lore it's based off of and you know, and I understand I don't know, it's just, it's alright. But I guess it, I just, it doesn't make sense for it to evolve into Bennett, maybe. But whatever. Um, Shup, it's alright, it's fine. But yeah, there's a lot of really cool ghost types out there, honestly. And, um, yeah. So, Phantom. Why is Phantom my favorite out of all the really good ghost types out there? Um, hang on, let me move this real quick. Uh, slide that over there. Okay, cool. Um, Phantom is, I don't know, it's just definitely one of my favorites that, um, that I met in Gen 6. Well, obviously, I mean, this is all about my favorite Pokemon, right? Um, so yeah, Phantom is definitely one of my favorites that we met in Gen 6. And, um, I don't know, just since, like, the moment I met it, I was always, like, I, like, I always thought it was really cute. And it is, it's so cute. It is so freaking cute. And, um, and, um, I guess I really like the lore behind it. And Trevenant, to be honest, but, um... But especially Phantom, like a little kid, you know, going into the forest and getting lost and I guess, you know, like dying in there and, um, and, you know, and just kind of becomes one with the forest, I guess. And it's, it's sad and it's, and it's a little tragic or whatever, but I don't know, I guess I, I, it, it's strangely comforting that, um, that you know that, you know, after, after a little while, I don't really, I really didn't like that body. I'm sorry. This is going to take a little bit longer now. But, um, it's strangely comforting to know that after a while, you know, the this ghost child kind of, like, you know, it, it's, it gets used to the forest, and the forest, you know, raises it and protects it or whatever, and then they eventually grow to love the forest so much that they, um, that they evolve into Trevenant and become guardians of said forest, and they, and they grow up to protect it, I guess. And it's, I guess maybe it's, it's interesting because, um, because even in the afterlife, this Pokemon can still find, like, a purpose for itself. A purpose that, you know, wasn't part of its repertoire before, like a child didn't go into the forest trying to protect it, or maybe it did, but I don't know. In, in that case, it just makes it all the more sweet, I guess. But, um... But, um... Yeah, it was just, it was just really kind of cool. And it's it also raises the question, like, because Trevenant, um, Trevenant protects the forest, right? So it does everything in its power to make sure that nobody harms it. So what happens if a little kid walks into the forest and starts, you know, like, kicking old stumps down and, and like, you know, setting fire to, to Durant or whatever in the, in the forest? Like, does the Trevenant then kill the child to protect the forest and accidentally create more phantoms? 
Like, I don't, I don't know, I really love... I really love the lore of a lot of the ghost types, to be honest. Um, that's part of the reason that Binette is one of my favorites. It's just really good. Um, it's, its story is great, you know, like abandoned toy, and then, you know, like seeking vengeance on the child who who abandoned it, who who treated it, who mistreated it like that. And it's just really awesome. Um, I don't know, it's just... I really love ghost types in general. There, there's so many good ones. Like I already said, there's so many good ones, and there's so many ones that have just like amazing story. You know, like like Gengar is really cool. Like if you're feeling like a like a really cold chill or whatever, it might be a Gengar sneaking up on your ass. Like it's just so awesome. There's so many. There's so many good ones, and I think I feel like, and I'm sorry, I am I am past time, but it is because I messed up on the drawing. Um, so I'm just gonna- I'm giving myself a little bit more time, despite the fact that this is probably one of the more simple Pokemon I'm drawing, so I do apologize for that, but, um, I do- I love Ghost Types because I feel like it's, um, it's Game Freak and Nintendo's way of kind of giving themselves an outlet, like an adult outlet for a children's game. Um, like, as we know, there's a lot of Ghost Types- there's a lot of Pokemon in general who have, like, really just horrifying dex entries, and- and ghost types, definitely. Ghost types definitely fit that category. There's so many that just have all these really just just horrible, like, like really disgustingly creepy, whatever, um, kinds of, like, dex entries, like, stories about them. Like, Gorgeist? Oh my lord. Gorgeist just walks into town, you know, on a whatever full moon or just in general, I guess, and starts singing, and if you come outside, they'll, like, kill you with its hair things. Like, that's really freaking dis- it's just horrifying. It's awesome, but it's horrifying. And, I don't know, I just feel like ghost types in general were, like, Game Freak and Nintendo's outlet for all their adult, um, ideas, I guess, for the game. And it really reminds you that, that despite the fact that it is a kid's game, um, it can still be pretty- it can still be pretty brutal, and there is still, like, an undertone of, you know, like, this- this Pokemon world is not as perfect as it may seem, and, you know, this- this, um, this world may not be as friendly and safe as- as, you know, as I would lead a kid to believe, I guess. Um, anyway, with that, with, like, 7 minutes and 30 seconds, um, I do apologize for taking so much longer on this one, but yeah. Um, with that, it is done, and that is my fant- Yeah, my phantom. I almost- I, for, I keep- I keep getting mixed up between phantom and Pumpkaboo, honestly. But, um, but yes, phantom is my favorite. Trevenant probably- probably a really close second or third or fourth or something, but definitely in my top, like, ten or whatever. There's a lot of really good ghost types, as I said, so it's really hard to pick. Um, obviously, in the comment section below, tell me what your favorite ghost type is. Um, and why. And, you know, it's, I, I hope to see a lot of people talking about the dex entries, to be honest. I really hope to see a lot of people talking about, like, well, I like, you know, Binette because of its penchant for vengeance and all that. And, you know, like, things like that. Like, I don't know. I'm, I Just let me know. Just let me know what you think. Or what your favorite is and stuff. Um, I already said all that stuff at the beginning about, like, tweeting at me and, the, like, where to find the introduction video. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for joining me for um, day 9 of the 31 day challenge and I will see you tomorrow with day 10 and day 10 is grass type um, ironically enough when I've picked a ghost grass type so I'll see you then bye <laughs>